According to our decades of study, humans are among the most intelligent and fascinating creatures on Earth, but it turns out that we've spent so much time studying ourselves that we're missing out on the world around us. Let's take a look at some of the curious things happening in our world, shall we? From alien coins to the world's tallest swing, here are 20 curious things you didn't know five minutes ago. <sighs> Number 20. Alien Coins UFO hunters searched for life forms in space for decades, but it turns out they may have been looking in the wrong place. According to conspiracy theorists, a mysterious set of ancient Egyptian coins could be proof of alien visitation, or just the remnants of the world's first vending machine. In their defense, the heads on the coins look to be far from ancient Egypt's traditional style. The coins found during the house renovation in Egypt appear to depict spaceships hovering above the ground and the familiar sight of extraterrestrial faces. Now, the conspiracy theorists are claiming that the coins prove that aliens are walking among us. Do aliens have wallets? Apparently not, but when you come from an advanced society, maybe it's cool to just drop your coins all over the place, right? Of course, none of this is actually verified. The coins themselves have not been authenticated, and experts have expressed doubts on the claims that aliens have left coins all over Egypt. But if E.T really does exist and is out there traveling the universe, it's nice to think that he'd have enough loose change to phone home. Assuming, of course, that he landed in the 1990s, he'd kinda be out of luck today. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19 world's tallest swing. Even if you're not afraid of heights, there's a pretty strong chance you're not going to be all that excited about this. China has become the home of the world's tallest swing, allowing adults to regret their life choices without even having to get drunk. As if riding on a 350-foot tall swing isn't already enough to make you want to throw up, the swing is perched on top of a 2,296-foot tall cliff. But it gets worse. Guests who are brave enough to strap into the safety harness are flung into the air at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour, proving once and for all that the Chinese safety guidelines are a myth. Actually, experts say that the swing is one of the safest structures in the world. According to engineers who rigorously tested the swing, whatever that means, the frame can withstand high winds and even survive an earthquake. It doesn't exactly inspire confidence. The Guinness World Records have since recognized the swing set as the tallest swing frame in the world. You have to feel for the poor guy who was sent out to double check that. You sign up to see some tall people and you end up being blasted into the air at 80 miles an hour. Number 18. The Sinking Tower of Pisa Every school kid in the world knows that the Tower of Pisa has always been a little… drunk. But it turns out that the building isn't just a little off balance, it's also slowly sinking into the ground. Actually, that just sounds like another example of being drunk. When the tower was being constructed in the 12th century, an unstable foundation led the 183-foot tall building to start sinking. By the time the construction was complete, some 200 years later, the tilt had gotten noticeably worse, and in fact would continue to get worse throughout the following centuries. In 1990, experts measured that the tower was tilted at an angle of around 5.5 degrees. That's basically the equivalent of scoliosis for buildings. Thanks to intense remedial work between 1993 and 2001, construction experts reduced the tilt to around 
around 3.97 degrees. Thankfully, they decided against fully correcting the lean, who would come to see a big, unleaning tower. So it turns out that the leaning tower of Pisa is not leaning because it wants to, it's leaning because the ground is too soft to support it. This is basically just me fact checking the Guinness Book of World Records because I'm not in it, and for that, they basically deserve it. Number 17. Hassani Bridge Hunza if you ask any bridge enthusiast for the name of the world's most dangerous bridge, they'll probably give you many names, because, you know, all bridges are dangerous when you think about it. But none are quite as risky as the Hassani Bridge. This bridge is undoubtedly recognized as one of the world's most dangerous bridges. It can be found in the Gojal Valley area of Hunza District, and yeah, even locals believe it is a little much. According to experts, the gap between two steps is one foot wide, at least. Even worse, the bridge is located in the middle of the wilderness with no safety measures or coast guards, meaning those that fall, uh, well, they don't tend to come home. While the bridge was built during British rule, it's still in regular use today by locals of Husseini village, who must cross it to transport agricultural goods to the village of Zarabad. You're probably sitting there thinking, why the heck would people even consider crossing that bridge? Great question. According to one local, the bridge is much safer than the alternative route to Zarabad, a dangerous hill. I'll let you guys be the judge on which route is safer. Number 16. The Reason for Roller Coasters Here's a thought nobody has ever had. Who invented the roller coaster? And as an even more important question, why? Well, the answer comes down to a few classic American motivations. Money, fun, and a quick way to keep citizens from brothels. You're welcome, America. The Marcus Thompson was an inventor and businessman who made substantial money manufacturing hosiery in the 1800s. For our younger viewers, hosiery is stockings and pantyhose, commonly used by women and criminals too cheap to pay for masks. Anyway, in the 1880s, Lamarcus was growing frustrated by the growing trend of sin in America. Kinda ironic, right? Lamarcus had grown so tired of hedonism in saloons and brothels that he set out to create joy without seediness. The Roller Coaster. In 1884, Lamarcus opened the Gravity Pleasure Switchback Railway, officially the first patented roller coaster in the United States. Did it keep Americans away from the hedonistic temptations of brothels and saloons? I think we all know the answer to that question is a resounding no, but hey, it gave them a break from what sounds like a pretty exhausting lifestyle, so mission accomplished, Lamarcus. Number 15. Mix Spaghetti it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in, you'll always find McDonald's. What you'll find on the menu of that McDonald's, well, that's a little bit more unpredictable. If you happen to be in the Philippines, you'll find an Italian classic. I know, it surprised me too. Yes, if you happen to be in the Philippines, you can get actual spaghetti and red sauce from McDonald's. Inside the box, you get long pasta topped with a generous helping of tomato sauce and shredded cheese. That red sauce is also topped with ground beef or cut up hot dog pieces, which honestly doesn't sound that great. But according to McDonald's press people, the public is loving it. So who am I to judge? But the cultural differences don't just stop at mix spaghetti. It also extends to the wide range of sides you can get with your pasta. Sure, you might be expecting a salad or a little extra cheese, but we're talking bigger than that. Because at these Filipino McDonald's restaurants, you can get your pasta with a fried chicken leg. Eat fresh. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong restaurant. Actually, this McDonald's serves pasta and fried chicken, so I would not be surprised if they also sold submarine sandwiches, maybe some ice cream. You know what? It's starting to sound like my dream restaurant. Number 14. Heavy Blue Whale Tongues the blue whale is the largest animal ever known to have lived on Earth. Yeah, even bigger than the megalodon, if you can believe that. 
so it makes sense that their body parts are among the heaviest on Earth. And I immediately regret saying it like that. It's true though, if you were to break the blue whale down into its organs and body parts, you'd be surprised by how heavy those individual components actually are. For instance, their tongues alone are known to weigh as much as a fully grown adult elephant, their hearts as much as a car, the rest, well I have absolutely no intention of going there, even though they exist on a diet composed of almost exclusively tiny animals called krill. The blue whale consumes about four tons in a single day. Every day. They're basically the sumo wrestlers of the sea, but probably easier to interact with. I think it's pretty obvious why so many animals try to avoid encountering one of these creatures. The blue whale is easily one of the most intimidating and terrifying animals in our planet's oceans. And while the words, they have a heart the size of a car, would usually be a very strange compliment, in this case it's more of a threat. Number 13. Supermarket apples are not fresh. Look, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but I feel it's my duty as your dedicated voiceover guy. Your supermarket apples, they're not freshly picked, my friends. In fact, if you had a baby in the past year, your apple may be older than your child. Nope, I'm not kidding. Some products, such as spinach or other leafy vegetables, are fresh by necessity, but not apples. In fact, apples are just one of many fresh fruit and vegetables that tend to be coated in wax and kept in cold storage for months at a time before they're finally shipped to the supermarket. One Australian news organization decided to do a deep dive in hopes of uncovering this bizarre trend. Their investigation reported that products from two supermarkets were 10 months old and 9 months old respectively. That's right, both sets of apples had been kept in cold storage for almost a year before they were finally made available to the buying public. Obviously, none of this means that the food is disgusting or inedible, it just means that we should be prepared for the possibility that our fresh food is actually, well, not fresh. And surprisingly waxy? I'd like to apologize in advance for the crisis I've given our vegetarian and vegan friends. Number 12, McHive. We've already established that McDonald's restaurants tend to vary based on the country and culture. Well, it turns out that they also vary based on species. In Sweden, the company opened the McHive, a McDonald's restaurant committed exclusively to serving bees. Sometimes the jokes just write themselves. Sadly, it's not a fully working McDonald's restaurant, if only because the company struggled to find bees with enough cooking experience. But the McHive is still an impressively constructed miniature replica of a full-sized restaurant, but instead of the fryer and register setup, the bees simply get rows and rows of honeycombs. So why exactly have McDonald's decided to branch into the bee business? Well, honey, let me tell you, the project has its roots in an environmental policy implemented in McDonald's restaurants across Sweden, in which restaurants began installing rooftop beehives. The idea was that the policy would encourage the production and conservation of the bee community. And if it worked, bees would chase customers back into the store, forcing them to buy more food and ensuring a self-sustaining economy within the restaurant. Okay, well, that last part maybe more my theory. While it may be pretty unconventional, you have to hand it to the McDonald's team. I imagine we'll soon get a bunch of copycats. BK, KFB, Wend, Bees. Look, I know these are all bad, but honestly, how do you top a McDonald's for bees? That's impossible. Number 11, Charlie Chaplin's Lookalike Contest. Charlie Chaplin is among the most iconic entertainers in history. And when you become an icon, a few things are guaranteed. You'll be remembered forever, your enemies will never not be angry, and people will treat your appearance as a Halloween costume. 
people, including Charlie Chaplin himself. In 1975, Charlie Chaplin made the curious decision to enter a look-alike contest in France, but not just any look-alike contest. This was specifically a competition to see which Charlie Chaplin look-alike was the most convincing. Chaplin naturally entered as himself, and he got third place. Yes, Charlie Chaplin lost a look-alike competition to himself. Apparently, the judges were so used to seeing him in black and white that his blue eyes completely threw them off, leading to the victory of another contestant. Chaplin, of course, thought the whole thing was pretty hilarious and congratulated the winner right away. In our modern world of cosplay, you could easily imagine this happening again. Who would be the Chaplin who dared to enter their own look-alike contest? I have no idea, but I will say, I would not recognize Clifford the Big Red Dog if I saw him in person. There's a lot of big red dogs, they all look the same to me. No offense to Clifford. Number 10. Gutsy Sea Cucumbers the nature of evolution can be described as animals gain new skills to avoid being murdered. Well, sea cucumbers are no different. But whereas some animals develop camouflage or heightened senses, the sea cucumber is a little more… Uh, gutsy. Literally. To scare off potential predators, the sea cucumber will literally spill its guts. Yeah, it's disgusting, but it works. And it doesn't even kill them. All of the guts that are expelled get regenerated within a few weeks. meaning they can continue doing this throughout their lives. But while scientists have known about this unique genetic phenomenon for years, it's been unclear how exactly the cucumbers can pull off this feat. However, a recent study confirmed that it all comes down to a unique defense mechanism that cannot be found in any other animal on Earth. I'm guessing you can't get guts this strong with Activia. There are many reasons to be happy that you're not a sea cucumber. Spilling your guts to avoid potentially being murdered and eaten is most definitely one of them. In fact, I think even the sea cucumber itself would agree with that conclusion. If they evolved to be able to talk, I mean. Number 9. The Accidental Ice Pop Today, they're one of the world's most beloved cold treats. But the popsicle was created purely by accident, by an 11-year-old boy. Who says you need to know science to be a genius? Just be a forgetful 11-year-old. In 1905, Frank Epperson made the ultimate mistake. He accidentally left soda powder and water outside overnight, with the wooden stirrer in the cup. The rest, as they say, is history. When he woke the next morning, he found that the mix had solidified into an ice pop, or as it was known at the time, an epsicle. Sensing an opportunity, the young man decided to make a quick buck from the product and began selling the sweet treat around the neighborhood. Eventually, he realized realized he had a huge hit on his hands and patented the recipe. You have to respect the ice-cold hustle. Years later, Epperson decided to officially change the name of the product to a popsicle. Apparently, kids were already calling it that. So who's to tell them that they're wrong? I guess what we've really learned today is that all of your life mistakes should be patented and sold. Who knows, maybe people are just waiting for wet socks. Number 8. The Original Eiffel Tower Today, the Eiffel Tower is synonymous with Paris, or Vegas, or that weird Chinese city that is a replica of Paris. But did you know that the tower wasn't originally intended to be located in Paris? Yeah, it's true. Everything you know about this world is a total lie. In 1889, the World Fair took place in Paris, with the newly built Eiffel Tower as one of the centerpiece attractions. But the tower was never intended to stay up. In fact, the plan was always to take it down once the fair came to an end. But it gets stranger from here because the tower was initially planned to be built in Barcelona, which held its own version of the World Fair the year before. And the only reason that it didn't happen, the local Spanish authorities believed that such a giant metal tower would become an eyesore. One hell of an expensive mistake. 
Today, the Eiffel Tower is valued at around $400 billion and is widely known as one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. If you listen very, very closely, you might just be able to hear the ghosts of the Barcelona authorities saying it's overrated. Number 7. The Shell-Shaped Shell Station if you've ever wondered why the Shell gas station doesn't look anything like a shell, you're a little weird, but you're not alone. Apparently, the owners of the company happened to have the same thought, so they got creative with it. In 1930, the owners of the Shell Corporation decided to bring more attention to their company by building literal shell-shaped gas stations. And they're actually kind of cute looking. Of the eight that were built in North Carolina, only one remains standing today. In 1976, the building was officially listed on the National Register of Historic Places, making it a place of historical significance. Because any company that actually gives you what it says on the sign is… well, it's so rare that it's practically a miracle. Apparently, the marketing effort paid off as customers flocked from all over to get a glimpse at the giant shell that can pump gas. All things considered, it's definitely one of the weirder tourist attractions you could ever hope to see, but it's also proof that viral marketing was just as successful long before the internet was even conceived as a possibility. I guess we've all learned something today. I learned that I would like to get all of my gas from a literal shell, so that's a side of my brain I didn't even know existed. Number 6. Stairway to Heaven Welcome to Austria the home of your greatest challenge or biggest terror. Yeah, I'm sorry to say that there's no middle ground there. What you're about to see is straight out of Crazy Town. I'm talking, of course, about the Stairway to Heaven, one of the craziest things to come out of Austria since that guy who jumped to Earth from space. The Stairway to Heaven is the common nickname for this 141-foot ladder, resting some 2,296 feet high above the ground. The ladder is entirely made of of steel cables and is considered the highlight of a climbing tour in an Austrian resort area. Because if you're planning a trip to Austria, why not throw an unnecessary near-death experience in there just for good measure? No harm in that. Unless, you know, everything goes very wrong. In that case, there's gonna be a lot of harm for you, I'm sorry to say. But on the bright side, what a view! To most professional climbers, this will likely be a pretty great challenge. But but to the rest of us ordinary humans, it seems like a pretty clear no thank you to me. I'll just hang around the resort and, you know, get hammered on whatever cocktails they bring me until I eventually get thrown out. The plan hasn't failed me yet. Number 5. 100 Pound Veggies when you grow up in a big family, you start to understand how much effort it takes to feed everyone. And you also understand that regular-sized vegetables just aren't big enough. That's what Philip Vowles realized anyway. In his family of 13, the bigger the food, the better it was. So when he started growing his own vegetables, he decided he would supersize the whole thing. In his own words, big vegetables feed big families. Actually, they could probably feed quite a few families. Philip's well-cultivated vegetables can reach up to 100 pounds. In fact, some have been recognized as the world's largest in their individual types. We're talking the world's most gigantic cucumber, 450-pound pumpkins, even a marrow as tall as Philip himself. Yes, the possibilities for these super-sized vegetables are truly endless, which is either incredible or pretty terrifying, depending on who you're asking. As far as we can tell, there's absolutely no magic or nuclear science involved in supersizing these veggies, making them totally safe to consume. You just need to come at it with a massive appetite and or a large family. If you have both, you're pretty much all set to enjoy a delicious feast of… vegetable. Number 4. The Goodyear Blimp 
Okay, so you know what the Goodyear blimp is. That's a good start, but to some people, this blimp is a lot more than just some weird-looking thing that floats through the sky. In fact, for the good people of Redondo Beach, California, it's a symbol of their home. Yes, for reasons that seem entirely made up, the Goodyear blimp is the official bird of Redondo Beach. It looks like a blatant breaching of the fundamental laws of nature, and that's because it is. But hey, if they don't care, why should we? Here's what happened. In 1984, officials in Redondo Beach were looking for a vehicle that could spread the word of the city's beautiful traits, and they settled on the Goodyear blimp. So the officials decided to take it one step further, passing a resolution that made the blimp the official bird of Redondo Beach. See, it makes total sense now. Okay, it makes absolutely no sense, but we're talking 1980s California. You can't expect too much logic from an era where Miami Vice and the A-Team are considered high art. Frankly, I'm just surprised they didn't make Knight Rider the mayor of Malibu. Surprised and disappointed. Number three, disruptive squirrels. According to statistics, stormy weather is the most common cause of power failures, the second most common cause, wildlife, and the most common culprit, squirrels. That's right, your little furry friends are menaces to society, and we still think they're the most adorable little things. It's time to expose the truth. Squirrels have many wonderful qualities. They're adorable, intelligent, they're very clever when it comes to hiding their nuts. Please. Don't make jokes about that last one. But squirrels aren't all nuts and cuteness. They're also notorious for anybody who happens to work with or near electrical equipment. These creatures are known to chew on wires, often causing huge amounts of damage to substations everywhere. In fact, studies have shown that squirrels alone are responsible for over half of all power outages caused by wildlife. If they were humans, they'd be what we call a career criminal, or they'd just be a very adorable pain in the butt. It's in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Apparently, squirrels are so notorious for this behavior that the American Public Power Association has a squirrel index, recording every power outage caused by squirrels. Yes, my friends, they may be clever, but even squirrels have criminal records. Number 2. The Empire State Building if you were to gather the top five tallest buildings in New York, and then line them up, you'd probably bankrupt Manhattan, but you'd also discover a fact that you could just look up online. The Empire State Building is by far the oldest, and it's kind of a building in its own world. In 1931, President Herbert Hoover turned on the lights at the Empire State Building for the very first time. In those days, this building was the tallest in all the world, but it's since been overshadowed by numerous others all over the planet. However, it's still one of the most iconic and recognizable buildings, which may explain the real surprise here. This lone building has its own zip code. Yeah, while other buildings in New York share zip codes with their neighbors, the Empire State Building received its own in 1980, 101-18. The decision to give the building its own code was was more practical than anything else. Apparently, receiving deliveries was proving to be a little bit tricky. So, local officials sought to make the whole ordeal infinitely easier by helping delivery people route their packages to the many offices on every floor. I guess the lesson here is that sometimes government officials can help the little guys. They just choose not to. Number 1. World's Longest Suspension Bridge it looks like a terrible idea, and let me tell you, it's gonna sound like a terrible idea too. I imagine those words weren't the original pitch for the 516 Aruka, but they probably should have been, because, well, it just seems like a terrible idea. The 516 Aruka is a pedestrian suspension bridge in the Aruca Geopark of northern Portugal, and according to experts, aka the local tourism board, it's the longest pedestrian 
pedestrian suspension bridge in the world, because apparently that's something that countries all over the world are fighting to achieve. Aruka's mayor, a clearly unbiased man, described the bridge as iconic and a modern landmark. But exactly how long is it? Well, the bridge gets its name from being 516 meters in length. That's 1,692 feet, or 0.32 miles, and no, there's not a particularly practical reason for it to exist whatsoever. In fact, the country has been pretty open to saying that the whole reason they built this impossibly long bridge is to attract tourists, who presumably will get halfway across and think, this was absolutely not worth the plane trip. But at least those that make it to the other side will think it's worth it. Maybe. Uh, probably not, let's be honest. Think of the donuts you could have been eating instead. What's the most interesting fact you learned today? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.